Starting from right, we have a 9 16 open end wrench, a half inch open end wrench, a socket wrench, a 9 16 socket, a half inch socket, a 7 16 socket, a pair of protective eyewear, and a drill with a 5 8 bit. Welcome back to DIY Golf Cart. Today we'll be installing a rear folding seat kit on a 95 and up EasyGo TXT. Now, in order to make this video as short as possible, uh, what we'll do is we'll take care of one side at a time and then you'll need to perform the steps to the other side in the video. Alright, our first step will require us to remove the seat back from the bag attachment and to save the hardware being used. So, take a 7 16 socket and remove the two bolts from this side and then perform the same task to the other side over there. Alright, once we remove the seat back from the bag attachment, we'll take these four bolts here holding the bag attachment to the frame of the golf cart. This requires the use of a 9 16 socket. And you will not need to save these bolts because we've got bolts to replace these for the factory trees. Alright, once we remove the four bolts holding the bag attachment to the frame of the golf cart, we'll now have to remove the four bolts holding the top supports to the bag attachment. Now you're going to want to save these bolts as we will have to reuse them later on in the video. Alright, once we remove the four bolts holding the top supports to the bag attachment, we'll need to find a household item like a broom or a mop and use it to brace the top while we remove the bag attachment. So put that right up underneath there like that. Walk around to this side and just slide the bag attachment directly off. Alright, our next step, once we remove the bag attachment, will be to grab the factory trees that come supplied in the kit and make sure that the rectangular portion is facing forward and the square is facing backwards. What you'll do is you'll just slide these on there like so, just let them rest there for now. Do this to both sides. And kind of put it in the slots here and then we'll drop the front up here with the broom. Alright, once we've slid the top supports into the tree, we're just going to hand tighten the bolts, which these are one inch bolts provided in the kit, into the frame going through the tree brackets. So just hand tighten all four of these bolts on both sides and we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Alright, once we've hand tightened all the tree bolts there to the frame, we'll reuse the same bolts we used when we first removed the bag attachment from the top support and run those exact same bolts through the trees here. Perform this task to both sides and we'll move right along to the next step. When performing our next step, we'll require the use of protective eyewear so you don't get any particles within your vision. You take a 3 8 drill bit, locate the hole outside of the bag well, which we've already drilled out. <laughs> same step to the other side. Once we drilled the two holes on the other side of the bag well, take one and a quarter inch bolts and our down support brackets. We'll run them through these holes. We'll just let them rest there for now as we'll be adding the seat, bra seat step brackets later on in the video. Alright, once we've placed the down supports in the bag well, we're going to grab our decking, kind of rest it on the body there. If you want, you can put a towel down on the body so you don't scratch it. And then grab the one and a half inch bolts, run them through the deck itself and on the other side of the tree. Now you just want to hand tighten these bolts to either side as we'll be tightening everything down later on in the video. Alright, once we've ran the two bolts through the trees, we'll take these one inch bolts and run them from the deck through the down supports. Do this to either side. We'll move on to the next step in the video. Once we've hand tightened all the bolts holding the deck kind of safely in place, uh, we'll grab the arm rails with the longer side going towards the back of the cart. Grab a one and a quarter inch bolt, and as you can notice, these, these 
brackets here are pre-threaded with nuts, so the nuts are actually welded in the bracket. You don't really find something like that on many seat kits. So we'll run the bolt through here, like so. And then again, we'll just hand tighten both these sides. So then we'll go to this, this bolt on this side. All right, once we've installed both the handrails on either side of the car, we'll next take the step plate here, locate the hole second from the end, and then the footrest brackets. The L is going to go up underneath the footrest, grab a one and a half inch bolt, run it through like that, and put a nut in the washer on the back side. We'll do that task to the other side as well, and this will conclude this step. Right, this next step is probably one of the most difficult steps in the whole install process. Uh, we're going to have to put the footrest bracket on the arm attachments. And notice that this footrest bracket already has pre-drilled holes for a grab bar. You can purchase that as well in our store. And the holes are already drilled right there for you. So we'll grab our two and a half inch bolts, run them through the holes here, and put a nut on the back end. We'll do that same test the other side here. All right, once we got the two bolts in place on the side of the footrest here, we're going to slide it up and line it up with the down support bracket bolts. Put a washer and a nut on the bottom. And then move right along to the other side. One thing that I want to point out about our seat kit that is unlike most of the other kits on the market is not only that it's made in the USA, but that we use the exact same vinyl that's form fitted for the cushions as the factory vinyl on the EasyGo golf cart. So as you can tell, all the lines and indentions are almost identical and the quality of the, vi uh, the vinyl is second to none. So next step will require us to install the front seat back on the front of the cart. All right, now we're gonna to need to reinstall the front seat back. So what we'll do is we'll place it on there, reuse the same bolts, line up the holes, and put the bolts through. Once we've uh, tightened up the front back support, uh, we'll do the same for the rear seat here. So the bolts are provided, these are 10 millimeter bolts, uh, and the holes are already pre-drilled in the wood. So it makes for a pretty simple install. So just line up the holes, put the bolts through. I would hand tighten all the bolts at the start, and then uh, tighten them all down once you got all four of them in place. This next step will be the second to last step before putting the seat bottom on the seat kit. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run around and tighten up all the bolts that we've already installed and then uh, move right around and blow along to the next step. Alright, once we've tightened all the bolts around, this will be the final step of the install. And we'll set the uh, seat bottom there on the frame. We'll grab a one inch bolt provided in the kit, put a washer on the end of it, and this nylon washer is very important. So what you'll do is you'll slide this bolt through the hole and then it'll go through the nylon washer and then into the seat frame. And then put a nut on the end. And what you're going to want to do with these bolts right here is you're not going to want to tighten them all the way but you're going to make them snug to where you still have this flip operation intact. Now you might want to check these bolts, I'd say about once every two or three months, just to make sure they haven't came loose. This concludes our install of a rear folding seat kit on a 95 and up EasyGo TXT golf cart. Now I'm going to take the rest of this time in this video to point out some features on this kit that are unlike any other kit on the market. One unique feature that we have is we put these little rubber snubbers here on the angle of the, uh, the rear folding deck 
which allows for a nice silent ride when you're using it over rocky terrain. Another feature of our seat is a 360 degree angle iron that goes around the entire bed itself. This will allow for items like a cooler not to slide off when they're traveling. Now of course you might need to strap this thing down, but it does give you some extra security. Not only does this kit come in a lightweight aluminum finish, like the one we installed here, but we also got a lesser expensive model that uses a high density polypropylene plastic. Still has all the durability, just not the look as the diamond plate one. One of the other features of our rear seat kit is the thickness of the cushion on the rear. Now what you see here is we're a little bit over three quarters of an inch, almost four inches, which almost makes for a more comfortable ride on the back of your cart than the front of your cart. So you might be looking for a chauffeur to take you around. We've already touched on these earlier in the video, but as you can see, we've got pre-drilled holes here for a grab bar if you want to add it at a later date or purchase it with your seat kit right away. The last feature of this seat kit is the strength and durability. It's unlike any other kit I've ever seen on the market, and that's the reason we choose to sell it. As you can see, I can put my entire weight on the lip of this seat kit, and it doesn't even bend. Uh, these kits are made in the USA, so the quality is second to none. And this concludes our install and our demonstration process of this American-made rear seat kit.